I know you're gonna dig this. Hi, how's everybody doing today? So, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Great to have you. I hope you've watched my previous Kurt Cobain videos. If you haven't, check them out. I've got more coming as well that I'm filming tomorrow. Here I am in Olympia, Washington. At a very special place. Very cool, awesome, amazing place. This is where Kurt Cobain lived for about five years. Right here. Now, he lived in apartment two. Let me show you that. He lived right there. With his girlfriend, Tracy, at the time. And he also lived in the little apartment around back. Now, sometimes, on my channel when I go to places, strange places, pop culture places, things like that. I only get to go the outside. I don't get to go inside. Sometimes I do that on purpose because I just want to see the outside. But a place like this, I want to be inside. So I'm going inside and you're coming with me. And not only are we going inside, we're spending the night. We're staying in Kurt Cobain's apartment together. You, me, all of us. Right in there. We're gonna stay overnight, okay? Just to warn you, I do suffer from night terrors and I'm a sleep crier. So if you wake up and you hear soft whimpering, that's me. Just roll me over, I'll go back to sleep. Let's go inside Kurt Cobain's apartment and I'm gonna show you around. Oh, and in case you're wondering what my shirt says, in the spirit of Kurt Cobain, it says this. So these are the front steps. This looks like it's been here for a long time. So does this. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna spend the night. Ah. Uh, <sighs> It's locked. I was lying. We're not spending the night. I can't get in. I'm kidding. I got the key. Give me a sec. So, if you're... I don't normally do this. I don't normally self-promote. But if you're a Kurt Cobain Nirvana fan, hit subscribe. You're going to like the videos I have coming up about Nirvana and Kurt. There's more coming up on my channel. So, subscribe. Okay. There we go. Let's get some light going here for you. Well, that's not happening. Wait a minute. There we go. And there's Kurt himself. Right there. And guess where he is? He's right there. He's on the front porch. Let's find that building right now before I start filming. <laughs> that building should be right out. Here. There it is. Boom, boom. Kurt here, the building's there. Is that not awesome? Come on, that's awesome. There's Kurt and Courtney. Sub Pop, Nirvana. Plus special guests, August 23rd, Seattle Center Coliseum. Playing with Mud Honey and some other cool bands. Wow, August 22nd, Portland Meadows. <sighs> Ticketmaster, yeah, yeah. All right, this is where Kurt Cobain lived. That's my shirt, and yes, 
I kind of live out of bags. So, don't mind the mess. Look at that, the Melvins. Highly influential band for Nirvana. Highly influential. International Pop Underground Convention. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Melvins, Bikini Kill, L7. Hmm. Courtney Love. Shadowy men on a shadowy planet. I believe they're Canadian, like me. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. We were just in the kitchen, right? Take a look at this. There's Kurt in the kitchen that we were just in together. Let's go, right here. This is Kurt Cobain's kitchen. What? I'm a huge Nirvana fan, huge Kurt Cobain fan. I'm geeking out, I hope you are too. This is just, ah, incredible. I can't believe I'm in here. It just kind of hit me all of a sudden. Like literally you just watched it hit me. <sighs> There's books uh, here, let me show you. The owner of the place has left out books about Kurt. I've read those two and I thought I had read everything but I've never read this Ehrlich Erlinson book, Letters to Kurt. Yeah, he was a guitarist from Hole, Courtney Love's band. I did not know that he had written a book. Nirvana t-shirt left out. Now is this, what size is this shirt? This isn't mine, this is mine. Yeah, I've got stuff everywhere. Seen here for a bit, so I'm making myself at home. Would you like to, ooh, what's that? That's just Kurt, that's a famous picture of Kurt, but I don't know if it was taken in this place. I'm not sure. Would you like to see Kurt Cobain's bathroom? Yep. There he is in the backyard of the house with the cat. And there's two kitties on the wall. Kurt was a huge animal lover. He kept turtles in the back. Kurt shower. Wow. So, if you're a huge Nirvana fan, music fan, Kurt fan, and you are, you are coming through Olympia, stop by this place, and you can book it. You can book it. Isn't that weird? Let me show you something else. People come by all the time. Stop by, take the pictures. Come up, sit on the stoop, take pictures. That's cool. That's awesome. I would too. But I want to be inside. I also want to show you this. Look across the street. That's the Washington Lottery Building. And when Kurt lived here with Dave, the drummer, Dave Grohl, they used to shoot out those windows, those windows, those windows with a BB gun. That's right. So, a lot of people know right around back here that this, well, here's where the picture with the cat was taken, somewhere around here in the backyard, I think. We'll see that later. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go take a look now. But I like to match it up perfectly. I could. Here's the backyard. So Kurt spent a lot of time hanging out back here and a lot of wild parties. I've been talking to a gentleman who lives here in Kurt's second apartment, right there. He has the same name as me, Scott. This used to be a restaurant called Joe Mama's and they would steal beer from it in a very intricate way, in butter barrels. They'd pour the beer into butter barrels, put it out in the back to be thrown away. And Kurt would come and get the beer and bring it into the apartment. There you go. A little interesting little story I heard. Butter beer, hmm. Now, Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be in there with Scott. And that's where, so, so you know, Kurt wrote 75% of Nirvana's material here in this building, 75%. A lot of it here and a lot of it around back. Kind of the, the timeline of when he moved from this apartment to that one, 
I haven't been able to exactly figure out, but it looks like it was it's five years in this building, roughly. So split in half. That's what I've gathered from what people have told me. Maybe you could correct me if you know the exact time that where he moved from this to this part to the other part. I don't know, but we're going in that part tomorrow. Yeah, where he wrote Smells Like Teen Spirit because it was written on the wall. He read it, somebody spray painted in graffiti. It was Catherine, was it uh, Dave's girlfriend from Bikini Kill that wrote it on the wall? Kurt Smells Like Teen Spirit. He didn't even know that Teen Spirit was a deodorant. He just liked the fact, he just liked that phrase, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh, by the way, did I already say, Hello, 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 hello. You knew I had to do that, that's cheesy. I should cut that out. There are the front steps right there. Kurt's mailbox. Please get a muffler. So, uh, this is the 25th anniversary of Kurt's death, April 5th. This is April 4th right now. I'll still be here on the 5th, which is in about five hours. So at midnight, I'm gonna do a little something special for Kurt in remembrance. But yeah, I'm here in Kurt Cobain's apartment on the 25th anniversary of his death. Wow. <sighs> yeah, that's heavy, man. That's cool. Well, um, I can't believe I made it here finally. I've had this plan for a long time. A long time. And actually, I had, I had a plan for a long time, but I didn't plan it to be here on the anniversary. I didn't figure that out until about two weeks after I had uh, booked the place to stay. I didn't, it just all of a sudden dawned on me. And then I switched the day to make sure it was on the exact date because I, I wanted to do something special because I'm a huge fan. As I know you are too. And there's bigger Kurt Cobain and Nirvana fans out there there's, than me. And for those of you that are watching that can't get out here, I'm doing this for you. Okay? Because Kurt and Nirvana fans are all about positivity, peace, and love. Which is what my channel's about, which is what I'm about. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. Show you around later. i got to eat something and relax. Soak it in. Let it soak in. Look at this. Sub Pop. Nirvana's first record label. That's right. Now, I don't know if this stove... No, this stove's new. Well. The microwave. I guess all of this is probably, probably, looks like the same sink, but yeah, that picture is amazing, yeah, oh, I forgot to even mention, there's Francis Bean there in the picture too, hmm. awesome. Well, it's exactly midnight, and I'm in Kurt Cobain's apartment on the anniversary, 25th anniversary of his death here. 12 o'clock midnight. And this is the exact day, 25 years ago, that he took his life. This is heavy for me. I'm honored to be here. I'm, I even, I, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm never at a loss for words. I'm kind of at a loss for words. I'm gonna show you uh, something else that I didn't show you before. I'm gonna put the light on for it. There's a picture, a drawing of Kurt underneath the bridge in Aberdeen. The bridge he sings about in Something in the Way. This is in the little closet. And I'm sure more than a few electric guitars are probably stored. But yeah, isn't that a cool painting? That's really cool. Keep watching my channel because this bridge will be coming up soon. So I'm gonna lay down for a little bit, take a little nap. I know it sounds weird, take a nap at midnight, but I wanna go drive around Olympia. But it's midnight and I wanna do something a little special because it's the 25th anniversary and for where I am. So I'm gonna do this first. Yeah, that's pretty dark.
This little candle. A candle for Kurt on the 25th anniversary. And I'm just laying back. When the lights out, it's as dangerous. Here we are now. Entertain us. Oh, you kind of knew I would do that, right? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the morning. More from Kurt Cobain's house. I was watching some of what I shot. I realized I didn't show the sink. Because this is an old sink. This is Kurt Cobain's sink. Uh, just an aside, I want to um, give a special shout out to Jolene, who lives up in, is it Silverdale, Washington? Not too far from here, from where I am right now. Uh, you were telling me your story on Facebook, that you raised your son, put him through medical school yourself, and you just successfully recovered from a bout of leukemia. And the story you told me is just amazing. And so, I mean, way to go. That's amazing that you overcame. You overcame that and you're striving and you're getting better. And I'm really happy for you. And you said that you found an escape through my channel and you love to watch my videos and it gives you an extra boost each day. And it, it just touched my heart so much what you wrote. And it was very flattering and so sweet. And it's exactly why I make the videos, the videos that I do. I try to keep them all full of love and positivity. And it's comments like that that keep me going. Jolene, stay strong. Keep getting better. Thank you so much. I realized earlier, <laughs> I said Ehrlich Erlinson. It's Eric Erlinson, of course, from Hull. And this is the only book I don't own pretty much about Kurt. And I opened it up, and it was signed by Eric Erlinson to Jim and Kelly. Thank you, Eric Erlinson. Kelly owns uh, the building. It's literally the middle of the night right now, like four in the morning, and I haven't been asleep yet, and I gotta be up really early. But um, I want to show you a couple of other things around the apartment. Because I want to show everything. I want. Well, I'm in the morning, I'm going to show you out the window see, so you can see what Kurt would have seen every day. Um, but look here. This may be obsessive, but if you want to see the floor. I mean, there's hardcore Kurt fans. This looks like the original kitchen floor. This is definitely the original floor from when the... Probably when the house was built. I would imagine. I, if this is too intricate, sorry. But I would think this is something that... Uh, people want to see, right? This door would be the original door to the closet, right? Yeah. This looks all... That wall. I don't know. This thermostat, look at how old it is. This has been here since the beginning. It doesn't work. But it probably worked. 27, 28 years ago in the bathroom because that's new. But look at this. These would have been here when Kurt was here. See how old they are, huh? Uh, some things I want to tell you that I, I've been thinking about while being here in the apartment. I know that they're paying, oh, and it was a year they lived here in this apartment until they moved around back. So it was a year in this apartment. And it is the same hardwood floors. That was just confirmed for me. And Kurt used to sit on them. And that's where he would make all of his sculptures and his dolls. He would bake dolls in the oven in the kitchen. It was, uh, it was reading stuff and remembering stuff all at the same time. This place was full of, full of his artwork. All the walls covered. And they would... Uh, Chris from the band... And his girlfriend stayed here all the time, so four people were crammed into this place. Isn't that crazy? And there's like, they go to flea markets and like kitschy little stores and bring back all sorts of stuff. And it was 
full of weird stuff everywhere. So it's and this is a tiny place I'm in right now. So there's stuff everywhere. And they had, I think, cats, rabbits, rats, and like the turtles, like I mentioned. So, yeah, 137 bucks a month. He would stay in this apartment, this one right here, for weeks at a time. He didn't really leave a lot. He didn't go outside too much uh, for the first little while when they moved here, when he moved here, when he finally got out of Aberdeen and came here and moved here. This was Tracy's apartment first, his ex-girlfriend. So he moved here and uh, yeah, he, he just escaped into like a little fantasy world. And that's when he created his visual art and started writing. And when I, <laughs> when it said Kurt would bake dolls, he would buy plastic dolls and then cover them in clay and then bake them until they got all deformed looking. People forget, like you can watch home videos of Kurt and stuff. What a lot of people forget and what, I, what made me like Kurt Cobain so much when I was young and, and when he, you know, when Nirvana exploded was his sense of humor. He was so funny. Like the, his performance on top of the pops when he's singing like Morrissey and cause they made him lip sync and he was pissed, the whole band was pissed and he's strumming the guitar in that weird way. And the concept spells like Teen Spirit, the video. I mean, uh, that was a lot of his. He had a great sense of humor. He was such a funny guy. People forget that when you read the books about him, you realize, and you see his artwork. I mean, it's off the charts, crazy. And, you know, it's, all, it's just, you know, weird stuff, but cool stuff, funky stuff, fucked up stuff that other people aren't doing, that other people weren't doing. His artwork's really cool. And it's just, I just want to get, I don't know, I'm just, just talking now. Blah, blah. But, yeah, he has a great sense of humor. He wasn't this mopey, depressed guy. And especially with, this was probably the best period of his life when he was living here. You can watch some videos on YouTube after this video. Uh, Kurt Home movies and stuff. He's a funny, funny fucking guy. Okay. See you soon. So I promised you to look out the window of where uh, what Kurt would have seen. And let's do that now. I can't really. Okay, here. Let's do it this way. Another house right beside it. Bit of the lottery building. That. Kurt and Dave used to shoot BB guns at. It's a dreary, rainy day in Olympia, Washington. Pacific Northwest gets a lot of rain, if you didn't know that. You get used to it. I guess Kurt got used to it. I don't know. I don't mind it at all. I'm so happy to be where I am. And I'm happy that you're with me. Oh, I want you to show, uh, show you this next door. Is that there? A bunch of musicians live next door. Which is really cool. And there's some feet stuck in the ground down there. Drums in the window. Yeah. Now we're gonna go around back and I'm gonna introduce you to Scott. Confusing, my name is Scott, his name is Scott. It's not confusing for us, it might be confusing for you, I'm sorry. And I'll show you where Kurt lived for the majority of the time in this building. And while he wrote 75% of the uh, Nirvana catalog in this building, it was in that apartment around the corner where he wrote their biggest hit. Do I have to say what it is? I think you know. One of the best drum intros of any song ever. Gotta be. The ding, the ding with the guitar, then do -ka -doom, do -ka -doom, do -ka -doom, with Dave coming in. Play that loud afterwards. Really loud. So this is a soundproof garage in the back where they used to rehearse and practice. Some old doors. And there's just some stuff of Kurt. Pictures they've put up and stuff. Yeah, really cool little space back here. Nobody ever really gets to come in here. Wow. And here's a vintage sign. 
this is the first sign they put up when they were making the Kirk Cobain Park in Aberdeen. Pretty cool, huh? So here we are in the apartment, and this is Scott, who lives in the apartment now. This is now, as Scott and I were talking yesterday, I actually found out Kurt lived in the one I stayed in for a year, and then this one for the yeah, majority, for, for about for three about, or four years. Yeah, he stayed over there for about two years. I think he yeah. was about, like, about half the time there, about half the time yeah. there. Yeah. And that picture in the, in the kitchen, in the living room of the kitchen, is taken here. Yeah, I think he had all the cabinet doors... Uh, take, you know, I know the picture you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, like standing right I there. thought it was taken in the one there, but then yeah. I noticed the slanted roof, and yeah. then I was like, no, then, then this is it right here. Yeah. So this is Kurt's other apartment. Kurt and uh, Dave lived here together, right? Yeah. And also, who else lived here? Uh, Tracy. Tracy was, yeah, I mean, I think they, yeah, they both lived up there first, and they moved back here, and then uh, she moved out at some point, and then Dave moved in, and... Yeah, I mean, but when he when he joined the band, I guess. So this is the living room. This would have been. Yeah. Do we know, or is it Kurt? Uh, Kurt's bedroom's there. Was it? Did Dave? Yeah, Ooh. I guess Dave. Um, kind of just stayed out here, from what I understand. He Dave was dating the the girl from Bikini Kill. Uh, yeah, I think he. I think Dave was briefly seeing Kathleen Hanna, and that Kurt was with Toby Vale, and um. Yeah, I mean, but Kurt and Dave lived here, and, um, yeah. I mean, so I did guess. Tracy not live here with them? Did she move uh, out? Well, I think, I'm a little hazy on, like, that, but I think sometime in 90, he, yeah, they just decided they weren't going to live together anymore. I, I don't know if it was because he maybe was, that was the time when he was kind of first interested in, in Toby Vale. <laughs> hmm. um, but I think something happened there, and then she moved out. So he must have, I don't know, maybe he lived here real briefly by himself, I think. But certainly by the time, I mean, when Dave showed up, he didn't have anywhere to go, so yeah. he came here. But I know when uh, he eventually got evicted from here, Tracy was the one that saved his stuff from being oh, thrown yeah, away. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, she, she helped, he had him paid Even though they were broken up, yeah. And he got back, I think they got back from making the album or something, and... Uh, yeah, he was living in the Oakwood Apartments in L.A. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he, uh, yeah, I guess he got back and... Uh, uh, yeah, all the, they'd thrown all of his stuff out, but she had, I think it was that she had, like, his animal, at least had his animals, like, Safe, uh, yeah. saved, because, I mean, I think a lot of his other stuff was out there, but I don't know that he cared that much about it. It sounds like mostly he just, you know, he had his pets and he had lots of records. Uh, and he had turtles in here, right? A lot of turtles? Yeah, so I, mean, I kind of understand the way the room... I mean, you get a couple different things from a couple different people on the variations, but it's about the same. I think he had a couch, like, right here. And there's probably some pictures. Oh, yeah, Mikey from Fist of Depression told me that over here, he said he had a fish tank, and underneath that was, like, all of his albums or something, and a whole bunch of records down there. And he said that over in this corner, he said after never, when, when they got signed to Geffen, they got uh, his advance money, which they didn't get very much, but, you know, I think when he was complaining that they you know they didn't have any money after that it sounds like one of the reasons may have been that uh mikey said that he wanted to go on this shopping spree at toys r us and bought a bunch of crazy stupid stuff and one of the things that he got was he said it was this flintstones bowling set and he he put it down here in the corner and was playing it all the time and uh <laughs> I, I, I don't know, maybe. I guess as a kid, he didn't have much, so he wanted to buy. You have a comment. So, can I see the room? Uh, the, yeah, it's not. The, the yeah, Teen Spirit Room? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Uh, that's not the. That's the fan. That's kind of here and airing. That's pretty small, you know. Yeah, but. But so it would have been written right on this wall? So. I think so. I think so. I mean, again, I didn't really know what totally to do, but. From what I, I, the pictures that I've seen, it looked to me like it's right there. So, yeah. Um, which again, it's kind of dusty. And that was Dave's girlfriend that wrote it on the wall? Or? Yeah, I think it was Kathleen Hanna because Kathleen what Hanna it was. From and I remember at the time there was that Teen Spirit deodorant you'd see commercials for and it looked like something off of 90210. Oh. And uh, he, he had no idea what it was. And I guess she's, you know, 
again, I think they came home after a night of partying or whatever, and and he was just writing graffiti on the walls because he didn't care. <laughs> and she just wrote, you know, Kurt smells like teen spirit because I guess that Toby used that deodorant or something, yeah. and, and he didn't know what it was, but uh, I guess a light bulb went off. and There's, There it is. Because I think that was the last song really written for the album. and uh, Crazy. Light switch that's pretty yeah. cool. But... Right, this is the original <laughs> bathtub, and apparently Kurt Cobain wrote about a girl in this bathtub. Oh yeah, I didn't know he actually wrote it in the bathtub, but I know yeah, that that's this. Yeah, that's how it's I know that this is the original bathtub this year. Like I said, it's going to dirty right now. <laughs> that's fine. That's cool. It's that's fine. That's really cool. There you go, Nirvana fans. Kurt. <laughs> when he bathed. <laughs> uh, when he bathed, he would do it here. Uh, when, when he bathed. <laughs> so thank you so much, Scott. Scott from the band The Hard Way. Check them out on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot, man. All right. Good luck on the rest of your travels. Thanks, man. All right, everyone, that's it. Um, yeah, that's the inside of the apartment. I'm going back into Kurt's apartment to chill for maybe an hour or so just by myself. Scott and I were just talking about the fact that if you ever feel the, uh, the vibe of someone, because I'm going to get that question a lot probably on this video, do I feel Kurt's presence, Kurt's spirit? I felt overwhelmed, excited. So I don't know if that's part of it. I... Same with, that's what Scott said, when he, sometimes it hits him where he is when he's, because he's living in a famous person's and somebody who's very influential on his music. So that's pretty much how I felt when I was in here. I just feel like, yeah, there's an energy in this place. I don't know what kind of energy it is, but it's awesome to be inside here. And I'm so glad that you were along with me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to chill. I've got it for an, the afternoon if I like, so I'm going to relax for a bit. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably going to end up being a long, lengthy video. Hope you made it to the end. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.